Hi, I'm Noah, and today I'm giving knives to robots so that they can cut vegetables. I swear I'm not trying to start some sort of bad, janky robot uprising. It'll be fine, okay? Everything will be okay. Can we just roll the title, please? <laughs> So this might be one of the dumber inventions I've created. Um, basically, we got a robotic arm here um, and a knife on the end of it and a chopping board. And the general idea is it, it, it's just a robotic arm with a knife on it and it's going to cut things. I'm giving robots knives and let's hope it goes well. So originally, um, I had a much bigger knife on the end of this, uh, one that was designed to cut vegetables. However, um, the robot arm was not actually able to lift that knife up, uh, let alone bring it down with force. So that was off the drawing block. Uh, I do plan on cutting vegetables and fruit with it because I don't want to do it myself. And yeah, so let's give it a go. So, we have here a lovely green onion, um, and I have the robot arm to cut it with, and there is no way this could go badly. You might be asking yourself, why would I build such a thing? And don't worry, I ask myself that too. I have to hold this down. So it is actually cutting it, it's just... Okay, um, so, so it didn't cut all the way through. This might be partly because this isn't the sharpest knife in the world and it's more just mashing them, but I'm not really entirely sure. But it, it, it is cutting them, and you know, it might make making salads a little easier in the future. I tried to um, cut them into smaller bits, but then again, I didn't want to cut my fingers off uh, at the hands of a maniacal, murderous robot arm with a knife that I built. Why did I build it? So, now that it's being tested on something easy and relatively soft and doable, um, I'm just gonna test it on something that there's no way it's gonna be able to cut through. Uh, one carrot. Because... Why not try? So as you can see here, the knife went into the carrot, but didn't cut all the way through, much like the green onion. And I think that's partially because there's a little bit of flex here on the arm itself, or the claw of the arm. And that meant that the arm was able to push it down to a certain degree, but once it encountered enough resistance, it just sort of bent out of the way. Uh, meaning that the bottom third of the carrot didn't get chopped through. So maybe trying to adapt the fairly gentle, somewhat precise-ish cookie dipping arm into a savage vegetable vaporizing device wasn't the best idea I've ever had. Um, it didn't end up working very well for numerous reasons, but I had fun making it and I managed to weaponize a robot without maiming myself, so that was great. Uh, if you want to check out my previous video where this same robot arm dips cookies into tea, um, that'll be linked somewhere. Um, and if you enjoyed this arbitrary adventure into robots with knives, 
uh, maybe check out my other videos. And you could like subscribe if, if you want to. I mean, I, I don't want to pressure you, but, but it's free and, and I like making this stuff. So it would be kind of cool if you were around to see it. You're welcome to not subscribe if you didn't like